Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you all are doing well and you are crushing it in your Red Dead journey. Man, in this video I'm going to talk about the hunting wagon. I'm going to give you the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of the above. Everything that you need to know about the hunting wagon. And I'm also going to show you how to claim your free outfit this week from Rockstar. Well, it's through the 6th. Through December 6th from now through December 6th you can claim a free outfit I'll show you how to get that outfit as well but before I get into that man if you enjoy this type of content please consider subscribing to our channel continue to help us grow also hit that notification bell so that you're alerted the next time that I drop a new video now that that's out of the way man let's get right into it First, before I get into the hunting wagon, I wanted to show you guys how to claim your free outfit from Rockstar. Rockstar from now through the 6th, December 6th, they're giving away a free outfit. It tells you to go to the tailor, but you don't really have to go to the tailor to claim it. I'm going to show you how to claim it right now. So whether you do it here or you go to the tailor, it's all about going to the catalog. You got to open the catalog. Go over to clothes. Now, if you go to tailor, it just has clothes in the catalog. But if you do it right at your camp, go to catalogs. Don't go to outfits. You're going to think it's going to be in the outfits. And you just go to outfits and click the whole outfit and get it. Nah, that's not how they do it. They got to broke it up into pieces. So what you want to do is you want to go to each piece. Start with hats. And you want to go over until you see a hat that has a sale on it. Going, keep going. Come on. There we go, right there. So you see the hat has a sale and you see it was sixteen dollars, but you see that's zero cents. So when you when you're going through the clothing items, you want to make sure that when you hit the sale, it says that's zero cents. Because there may be some things that may be on sale uh and it's not included in this and then you're going to be like, hey, why is it not free? because it's not included in the outfit. So you want to make sure that when you go into the outfits, it says zero cents, and you're going to click on it, and I, and I already own it, but you want to make sure you go to the pattern. That's going to that's gonna say free. I know it says own because I own it, but it's going to say free. You want to make sure you go to the pattern that says free because if you go to this pattern, you're going to end up paying $16 for it. So in order to get the free version, you have to go to the free pattern, which is black right there. Boom, you get it. And you go through the catalog pretty much go through the catalog I will start start with has go through and again see right there coat zero cents you want to go to the pattern that's free again boom and continue so on and so forth there you go see jacket right there boom zero cents and again go to the pattern that's free which is black on black on black black right there boom And so on and so forth. But you also want to make sure you go through pants and boots. But you want to make sure you go down to accessories. And you want to go to neckwear. There's nothing in gloves, bandanas. You want to go to neckwear. Because neckwear finishes off the outfit set. And see, zero cents. Boom. Get it. And the free version right there. I hadn't got it yet. But, and you claim. Boom. Easy peasy. You do that, you'll get done, and you'll have the entire outfit. I got pretty much all of it on right now. Looking pretty dapper, I would not say. <laughs> then you have the whole outfit, so that is how you claim your free outfit. You want to make sure you go get it. It is starting now, which today is uh, November 23rd, all the way up to December 6th. So make sure you get it before December 6th, because it will be gone. Now let's get into the hunting wagon. Now the hunting wagon is a cool piece of equipment. It's a great tool. If used properly, it can help you out a lot. But what you want to know about the hunting wagon is, is that there is some downsides to the hunting wagon. But first let's get the hunting wagon. So how you call it the hunting wagon is you go into free roam. You want to go down to stable. You want to go to vehicles, you want to go to own vehicles, and you want to call out your honey wagon. Now it says your vehicle is being summoned. 
and so all you gotta do is wait for it to show up. Now you cannot have your horse and the hunting wagon out at the same time. I, I gotta move closer to it. So you see that little wheel? That's your wagon, right? So unlike your horse, it doesn't come right to you. You have to pretty much go to it. It'll be parked somewhere once you find it. But once you call it out, it'll be parked somewhere. Now, if you are looking for, uh, if you're thinking that your honey wagon is going to be like that scene that you could just speed around and use and, you know, pick up your, your pelts and go from one place to another, it is not that. This is not that. It is sluggish. It is slow. So you want to make sure that if you're using your honey wagon, you're using it in the area to where you're not going to need to make a fast getaway. It's not highly pop populated, so you don't have to worry too much about other players coming after you. If there's any place that you feel like you're going to need to make a quick getaway, don't call out your honey wagon. It's going to slow you down, and you will not make it out alive, especially if you're in danger and need to make a quick getaway. So stick with your horse. Don't call your honey wagon. I like to take my honey wagon out to Emerald Ranch. Because again, it's, it's a little less populated, but it is a great place for hunting. And so you want to bring it up to Emerald Ranch and just park it somewhere and hunt. Now the hunting wagon can hold up to five large carcasses or pelts and ten medium to small carcasses of pelts. You know, so if you are just gonna focus on medium pelts, man, rack up on ten, take them back. You know, sell them or, or or donate them, whatever you need to do. Then hit back the open road and do it all over again. Like I said, I like to come to Emerald, Emerald Ranch because I can go to the farmland and I can take out, you know, five large cow or five large bull, throw them in a honey wagon, head back, sell them, or donate the pelts if I need to donate the pelts to Crips. And rent and rinse and repeat. See, look at all those deer. I can take them all out, throw them in a the wagon. Boom! It'll be too easy. But I like to go right up here, especially to start with. And go over to this little farm area. Ooh, see, that wagon is not that strong, buddy. Go over to this little farm area. And their cow and bull in this fist area. Hop out of here. I see, so there, there are a plethora of large animals in here. I'll take them all out, grab the pelts, throw them in a honey wagon and roll out. Boom, I can come over here and get a number of perfect pelts because normally this little farm has a, a number of perfect pelts in here. Throw them on the hunting wagon. And I am golden. One, two, And they respawn quickly. Let's see if he's perfect. Is he perfect? Oh, he is perfect. Stay still. So I can sit up here and get five perfect pelts from large animals between the cow and the bull. Because they respond pretty quickly, throw them on a pel throw them on a hunting wagon, and be out. And that's what makes the hunting wagon, you know, great. Is because I can store so many large pelts on them. Now, in my opinion, if it was ten large pelts, then that would be amazing. But I, you know, I guess I could take five. But if it was ten, man, it would be amazing. It would be amazing. It should be the same uh, same number of medium pelts as, that you can hold. Uh, just as many large pelts. But, you know, we get five, so I'll take it. Because all my horse is just one. 
boom and you see you see that lump is getting bigger and bigger so once it's full it'll be pretty big and you won't be able to put anything else on also another upside of this if you're in a posse your other posse members can hunt and can place in your wagon the downside is that they cannot take out of your wagon so if they're like hey let me you know go out hunting with you and you know store my stuff on your wagon and I'll get it later doesn't work that way anything stored on your wagon is yours so they can put things on your wagon but they just can't take them back for themselves and claim them for themselves um, so keep that in mind when you're out hunting especially with your friends or posse members that anything in your wagon is in your wagon so if they value it they probably shouldn't put it in your wagon that is a slight downside you know it gets downside for them because the upside for you is that you get <laughs> some extra help hunting and, and stuff stored in your wagon another upside is that anything stored in your wagon transports with you so if you like right now I'm gonna go back go back to camp once I fast travel I leave the leave the wagon everything stays in there it travels with me. You know, that's another upside but the major downside is it's slow oh ho, ho man this wagon is slow like I said if you were getting if you ran into anything like if you ran into any outlaws or anything like that just you you just happen to be on your wagon you will get shot up because it's not a fast getaway at all you know it's look I mean it's just slow it's just a slow sluggish wagon but it's a wagon so you know I guess you know what what do you expect you know what I'm saying a wagon to be a speed racer it's not gonna happen so you just want to make sure that if you're not in an area to where you're gonna need to make any fast getaways or maneuver quickly because you cannot like I can't even wait I gotta wait cuz I can't even cross the bridge with another wagon going cuz I would fall right off the edge um yeah so that's that is definitely a downside is that it's not it's not built for quick getaways now the, I mean the, now another upside is that it doesn't drain any stamina you can you know accelerate 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 and push it push and push it and you won't it won't have uh, any stamina go down no heart go down nothing like that the horse is like unlimited stamina so that's that's the upside but it's unlimited stamina really count when it's slow <laughs> I don't think so it doesn't really count when it's slow so just to recap for you the hunting wagon is good in my opinion it is good if you are going to be stationary in an area to where it's not a lot of action going around and you can hunt you know peacefully you hunt peacefully you don't have to worry about too many things coming at you and you don't need to make a fast getaway it, it's great because it can hold five large large carcasses or large pelts and 10 medium size or medium to small size carcasses of pelts so that's a big plus especially when you're trying to get materials back to crips you know taking a hunting wagon out you take the hunting wagon out on one trip you go back to crips he's full especially if you get a number of perfect perfect pelts in my opinion you want to go to the places like uh, Emerald Station to where there are larger and larger animals that you have easy access to and that spawn that respawn quickly um, also you could try the the, the, the bison spot in um, in Blackwater now that may be a little bit crowded because that is that area has a lot of activity but it it's worth a, it's worth a shot you may catch on a downtime to where there's not a lot of activity you can go hunt and get five perfect bison pelts get in get out bada boom bada bang but in I guess in general the hunting wagon is a great tool you know, a lot of tools in the game that you're like man this tool, is, this tool is useless it doesn't help me at all the hunting wagon is not one of them it will help you you just have to use it at its strengths and not use it as an all-around tool if you use it at its strength where you can park a stationary hunt load it up go back and, and, and go to the butcher and sell or, or go to Crips and, and donate then it works for you if you expect to be like able to like travel all over the map with with the wagon and hunt you can do it but it's going to be challenging it's going to be challenging especially when you're going into like mountain areas where the road is really really narrow or you go into those areas that is, that are a little bit more dangerous where you got you know grizzly bears coming at you or outlaws coming at you then the wagon is going to be it's going to be a problem it's going to be a big problem for you so 
Is it a tool that that you can use that can you you, you can utilize in this game and that will help you? Yes. Is it an all-around tool? Absolutely not. It's one of those that you gotta use it where you, where it's gonna be a success and don't set yourself up for failure. But that is it, man. That is my guide to the to the hunting wagon. I do hope it helped you. I hope it gave you some information about the hunting wagon. It gave you a couple of locations that you can use uh, to make your Red Dead journey a little bit easier. If it does help you, man, please consider subscribing to our channel. Continue to help us grow. Also, hit that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoy this type of content so that they shoot it out to other people who enjoy this type of content as well. Also, do me one more big favor, man, and hit that notification bell so that you're alerted the next time I drop a new video. Hope it helps, guys. Tried to make it quick, but I might have rambled on just a little bit. Hopefully, I didn't. But uh, that is it, man, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.